The first Peabody Award presented to a freestanding website goes to transom.org, a brilliant melding of information, instruction, production, and distribution of radio content, often created by those whose voices might have never been heard. Transom.org is a showcase and workshop for new public radio. I went to the fair with a friend. At noon, we pay $3 each, admission to a gated world that is bright and nice and farm animals, kitty rides, fun and easy prizes, puppets and grandmas, popcorn and babies. Fifteen years ago, my mother had a brain aneurysm when she was only 46 years old. I've come to refer to it as the day my mother's head exploded. The mother I grew up with died that day and was replaced by an entirely different person who just happens to have the same memories and body and family and address as my dead mother. By the time the divorce was final, there wasn't a lot that my mom could take with her, or even cared to take with her, I suppose. The silverware, maybe a couple plates, but more of her was left behind. Jay Allison, executive producer, will accept the Peabody Award. Good to be here. I want to thank our ragtag team of part-timers. The amazing thing about the internet is that you can, uh, you know, you can do it as we do from an office with too few desks or from your bedroom in your underwear and a laptop. Uh, but that's the playfield leveling effect of the internet, and it lets uh, let zealots who care, in our case, about public broadcasting, be heard. Uh, I want to thank the people, uh, th well, so this is uh, Josh Barlow, Vicki Merrick, and Jeff Town, and out at table 48, the rest of the team, Chelsea Mers, Helen Woodward, and Sidney Lewis, and they're great, great people, and work very hard. Uh, I want to thank WGBH and WCAI and WNAN, our little partner stations, and Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket, where we live. To the journalist Bill McKibben, who kind of gave us the idea for this, and uh, to a man we'll get to appreciate in a minute, Bill Moyers, for his support through the Schumann Foundation, now the Schumann Center, and, uh, and also for his inspiration as a journalist and a citizen. And I want to thank the Peabody Committee because it's such an honor to be the first to uh, win this venerable award in a new medium, a medium that we think will make the old ones that much better by keeping us all on our toes. Thanks very much.